Welcome back to History of Simple Things. Today's topic comes from one of our awesome viewers at Trevi1. Thanks for the suggestion. You asked, how does an e-bike actually work and what's going on under the hood? If you've ever zipped past traffic on a bike lane, noticed someone effortlessly climbing a steep hill, or just wondered what gives electric bikes their silent power, you're not alone. E-bikes are changing the way we think about transportation, fitness, and commuting. But how exactly do these modern machines function? Stick around as we dive into the electrifying world of e-bikes, right here on History of Simple Things. At its core, an e-bike is a regular bicycle with a little electric assistance. That assistance comes from a motor that either helps when you pedal or, in some cases, lets you ride without pedaling at all. It's like having a gentle push whenever you need it, especially handy on long rides or steep hills. And yes, you still get exercise. The motor just makes your ride smoother and less strenuous. Three main components make an e-bike unique, the motor, the battery, and the controller. Each plays a specific role to give you a more efficient and enjoyable ride. Let's break these down. The motor is what gives an e-bike its power. There are two common types, hub motors and mid-drive motors. Hub motors sit in the center of either wheel and directly drive the wheel forward. They're simple, quiet, and perfect for city rides. Mid-drive motors, meanwhile, are located near the pedals and power the crank, giving a more natural riding feel. These are better for hills and rugged terrain. Motors are typically rated in watts, and most e-bikes fall somewhere between 250 to 750 watts, depending on their purpose and local regulations. The battery is your fuel tank. It determines how far you can go. Most use lithium-ion technology like your phone or laptop, just larger and more robust. The capacity is measured in watt-hours, weight, and the higher the number, the longer your range. For example, a 500WH battery can power a 500W motor for about an hour under ideal conditions. But your real-world range depends on things like terrain, rider weight, and how much assistance you're using. Some batteries are removable for easy charging, while others are built into the frame for a cleaner look. The controller acts as the bike's brain. It manages how much power goes to the motor based on your settings. Usually, this is done through a display on your handlebars, where you can check your speed, battery level, and switch between assist modes. Most e-bikes offer two main riding modes, pedal assist and throttle. Pedal assist kicks in when you pedal and gives you an extra push, with adjustable levels based on how much help you want. Throttle mode, on the other hand, works with the twist of a grip or push of a button. No pedaling required. It's perfect for quick boost or giving your legs a rest. Sensors are what make these assist modes feel smooth and responsive. Cadence sensors detect when you're pedaling and trigger the motor, while torque sensors measure how hard you're pedaling and adjust the power accordingly. Torque sensors feel more intuitive, but are often found in higher-end models. And yes, e-bikes still have gears, just like regular bikes. Using gears along with the right assist level helps you ride efficiently and save battery power. Lower gears are great for hills, higher ones for cruising on flat roads. Because e-bikes are faster and heavier than standard bikes, they come with upgraded brakes, usually disc brakes, either mechanical or hydraulic. Hydraulic brakes offer better stopping power and smoother control. Some e-bikes even have sensors that cut motor power when you brake, making the stop safer and more predictable. Charging is pretty straightforward. Plug the battery into a regular wall outlet and you're good to go. 
Most take three to six hours to fully charge. As for maintenance, it's similar to any other bike. Keep the chain clean, check tire pressure, and make sure the brakes are working. Just be extra cautious with the electronics. Don't drench the bike and store the battery somewhere cool and dry when not in use. What makes e-bikes so exciting is how incredibly accessible and versatile they are for people of all ages, lifestyles, and fitness levels. Whether you're commuting to work and want to avoid traffic jams, recovering from an injury, and need a gentler way to stay active, or simply eager to explore longer trails without worrying about running out of energy, there's almost certainly an e-bike that fits your needs and riding style. E-bikes provide a perfect balance between exercise and ease. You're still pedaling and moving your body, but the electric assist takes the pressure off your joints, knees, and hips, making it a smart choice for anyone looking to reduce physical strain without giving up the joys of cycling. They're a fantastic option for seniors, casual riders, and even athletes looking to cross-train or extend their rides. Beyond the health benefits, e-bikes are also helping reshape urban mobility. As more cities embrace bike-friendly infrastructure like dedicated bike lanes, public charging stations, and parking areas, e-bikes are emerging as a sustainable and efficient alternative to cars for daily transportation. They reduce your carbon footprint, save you money on fuel and parking, and often get you to your destination faster in traffic-heavy areas. In short, E-bikes are not just a passing trend. They're a meaningful shift in how we move, explore, and connect with our environment. So, to sum it all up, an e-bike is a regular bicycle enhanced with a motor, a battery, and a controller, designed to give you just the right amount of boost when you need it. Whether you're climbing hills, commuting to work, or simply cruising around town, E-bikes make riding more enjoyable and accessible. They let you stay active while reducing physical strain, making longer rides and tougher terrain easier to handle. Whether you're a daily rider or just getting back into biking, an e-bike can transform your experience. If you've been hesitant to try one, I highly recommend it. The moment you take your first ride, you'll understand why so many people are making the switch. It's smooth, effortless, and genuinely fun. Once you try it, you'll get the hype. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.